Hey, hey, y'all. Let's take a look at some uh, practical stuff again today. Look at this, man. We are, we have, after we're done today, we have 12 more problem sets and we are done with Algebra 1. We can all join in the middle of the United States or somewhere and take our books, take giant flamethrowers and, you know, dynamite and blow these things sky. Okay, or maybe we'll just have a little, you know, maybe we'll just get, like all get a candy bar instead or something. I don't know. Um, you tell me your suggestions anyway. But let's take a look at commission today. The definition of commission is if you're a salesperson and you go, you know, I don't know, sometimes it's a percent. Like if you're a real estate agent, um, let's say you sell a house for $100,000. Well, a lot of times real estate agents will get something like 7%. So you would go, oh, I sold this $100,000 house to this couple and I get $7,000, which is 7% of $100,000. That's commission. So salespersons get this stuff all the time, um, just a percentage of what you sell. That's it, okay, so let's do one. A jelly salesman was paid a base salary of a thousand bucks a month. He was also paid a commission of 10% on everything he sold. If he sold $26,000 worth of jelly in a month, how much did he earn? Okay, well first off, his base salary is a thousand dollars, so he earns that. He also gets, what, 10% of everything? He sold $26,000, okay, the question is what? is 10% of $26,000. Chop, chop, one times 20, that's 2,600. So he gets that and he also gets his commission. So he makes $3,600 that month. That's all there is to it, okay? They give him a little bit, you know, to kind of make a living on so he doesn't get discouraged if he doesn't sell anything that month. But they also go, hey, everything you sell, gonna give you 10%, boom, there you go, okay. All right, profit, ugh, it's a dirty word to some people today who are brainlessly indoctrinated by government schools. Profit, it's run your profit on, the, come on, okay? When you're old enough, you can read my Economics for Christian Homeschoolers book, and we talk about profit and how this supposedly evil word is perfectly great and natural, and it drives society and gives people jobs and makes it so where you can, you know, do things like, uh, paint and do art and make discoveries and study glorious, glorious pre-algebra, okay? Anyway, the definition of profit is what you have left over after you've paid all your expenses. In other words, if, you, you know, if you've sold $10,000 worth of furniture in one month and your, uh, you know, your costs were $8,000, well then you made $2,000 that month. You just subtract the eight from the 10, okay? Let's say a store owner marks up her merchandise 40%, her expenses are $5,200 per month. If she paid $16,000 for the goods sold in one month, what was her profit? Okay, well, let's do this. Her expenses are that. She marks up her merchandise, um, whatever. Pay, if she paid $16,000 for the goods sold in one month, and what was her profit? Well, she paid that much for the goods she sold in one month. What was her profit? Well, if she marks it up 40%, what does she make out of this? Okay, well we need to figure out, the question of course is what she makes is what is 40% or we could say, let's say four tenths, it's easier, of $16,000, right? That's how much money uh, she actually makes on what she bought that month. And again, choppy chop for the zeros. Four times 16 is 64, add the two zeros. That is what she pulled in this month for her own profit. Okay, but the profit also has to take into account her expenses of $5,200 a month. So you subtract $5,200 from $6,400, so she makes, as a profit, $1,200. And there you go. Okay, all right, try page 345. We have those two problems, and then we will uh, take a look at uh, what's going on next. So anyway, pause it and try A. Okay, the sales rep gets a base salary of $274 a month. 7% commission on sales. She sells this many, and of course the question we have to ask is, what is 7% or 7 hundredths, or 0 0.07, whatever you wanna call it, of $20,000? There we go. Two zeros, choppy chop. Two zeros there. Seven times 200 is 14 with two zeros. There you go. That's what she adds to her money here. So she makes in that month, $1,674 that month. So there we go, okay. All 
All right, pause it and try this one, B. All right, this guy purchases 200 grand worth of stuff and he sells it at a market of 4%. His expenses are this, what's his profit? Okay, we know we're gonna subtract 5,500 from some number right there, and that's gonna be our profit. So how much does he actually pull in and he sells it, he makes 4% of that. So the question is, of course, what is 4% or 4 one-hundredths or 0 0.04, whatever, times 200,000? All right, and you can start chopping zeros. And then two there, how many are left? One, two, three zeros. So four times 2,000, of course, is 8,000. You subtract 5,500. His profit for that month was, uh, or however many, however long it was, was $2,500. And there you go, and that's profit, okay? All right, good luck on those today. See y'all next time, bye.